The impella system requires a purge system to deliver a rinsing fluid to the impella catheter. This rinsing fluid, also called purge fluid, helps to prevent blood from entering the motor. For the automated impella controller, the purge system consists of an integrated infusion pump, purge disc, and purge tubing. Inside the impella motor, the impeller shaft spins to pull blood into the impella cannula. For this spinning motion to occur, there must be a very small gap within the bearings and between the motor housing and impeller shaft, as shown here in yellow. To prevent blood from migrating into this gap, a rinsing purge fluid, typically 5% dextrose or glucose, is infused from the clear sidearm through the guiding catheter and the motor, exiting just behind the impeller. This forward flow of purge fluid forms a pressure barrier. The purge fluid deflects the blood that the impeller is pulling through the cannula, preventing it from entering the motor through the gaps. A continuous flow of purge fluid throughout the support period is needed for the impeller system to maintain this pressure barrier and protect the impeller motor. There are two components to the impeller catheter purge system. The first is the purge fluid, preferably 5% dextrose in water with heparin. It provides the rinsing action that prevents blood from entering the motor. The dextrose concentration is proportional to the viscosity of the purge fluid. The lower the dextrose concentration, the lower the purge fluid viscosity. The higher the dextrose concentration, the higher the purge fluid viscosity. The dextrose concentration or viscosity of the fluid is a factor in determining what flow is needed to maintain a safe pressure barrier and prevent blood from entering the motor. It is recommended that heparin is added to the purge fluid. In the event that blood migrates into the motor gap, the heparin will help maintain the patency of the purge pathway. The second component is the purge cassette, which is an integrated infusion pump, which delivers the purge fluid to the impella catheter and motor. The pressure sensor on the controller reads purge pressure from the purge disc and automatically adjusts the purge flow to keep the purge pressure within the specified range. The automated impeller controller issues warnings if purge pressure is too high or too low, or if it detects a blockage. The infusion history screen displays the infusion volume as well as the amount of heparin and dextrose delivered each hour. This is calculated based on the concentrations that are entered by the user and the purge flow rate. The current time period is displayed at the top of the list. The calculations begin when the K-start procedure is completed and the flow rate is greater than zero liters per minute. It is important for the caretaker to account for the heparin being infused by the impella system into the total heparin patient dose. While caring for a patient with an impella device, it is important to account for the heparin that is delivered through the purge system. This dose can be found on the automated impella controller by switching to the infusion history screen on the display menu. An ACT of 160 to 180 seconds is recommended for all patients while on impella support. For some smaller patients, this ACT may be achieved by just the impella delivered heparin requiring no additional systemic heparin to be delivered. For the first 24 hours, it is recommended to monitor ACT levels every three hours. In situations in which excessive heparin is being administered through the purge system, it would warrant the reduction of heparin. As always, the Abiomed Clinical Support Center is available to answer any questions regarding the impella-delivered heparin.